Hello everybody. It's been a while since I made a video like this, but because of this mod just releasing, I would like to just go over how to install it, just to make it easier for those of you that want to play it. For those that don't know, I started this mod back in like 2017 it looks like, yeah December 2017, and it's basically just a mod to replace Link with Mifa in Breath of the Wild. And there is some other stuff like the uh, light scale trident doesn't break, you can swim in the water without losing stamina, and you can swim up waterfalls with any armor equipped. Uh, the thing is, I didn't make a whole lot of armor for this old version, and... Yeah, so this was in dire need of a facelift, and thankfully somebody actually stepped up to the plate and spearheaded like an entire revival project for this mod. This time it's actually going to include like story edits so that, you know, things make sense now that you're not Link. And best of all, a bunch of new armor. So as you can see, there's a whole bunch of new armor sets. A lot of them were like designed from scratch or at least, you know, refitted to kind of go over the model better. So before I go over the installation instructions, I'm just going to click here. And let's just give a shout out to all these wonderful people that helped out. So right now if you go to the website you might see that only the BCML version is available. And if you read the Zelda modding wiki it actually says... Don't. Like do not use that version. And then it kind of explains why. But we're actually having issues with that newer mod manager, so for now the instructions might only say BCML, so I'm going to be starting with that. So let's go to the instructions and start here. It says download and install Python 3.8 64-bit. Uh, you probably just have to click that, run it. And this part's very important, it says when installing make sure to click the add to path checkbox, that's right down here, on the very first window that pops up. The next step is to open the command prompt and enter this. So to get to the command prompt, you would usually go to windows down here in the corner and type cmd, and then just press enter, and it should just open up this window here. We should be able to just type python-m pip install bcml so now what that's doing is it's installing our mod manager that we need in order to run this um bcml bnp file that we downloaded that means next we can launch this by typing python-m bcml And this might pop up, I'm just going to give it permission. You can ignore this error that shows up. So for the purposes of this video, I'm going to assume that you already have Simu installed and the latest update and DLC installed for the game. Um, if you don't, I can't really help with that. You can probably find resources online for how to do that. So now BCML is asking for the CMU folder, the base game directory, the update directory, and the DLC directory, and if we start with the CMU directory, I'll just copy that. And the cool thing about BCML is when you paste it in there and just autofill them, so thankfully we don't have to go looking for those. Alright, I need to select a language, um, US English, and then press save. And then you just have to check this box here saying that you understand what you're doing. Okay, and now we click the checkbox and we're in. So you might be tempted to drag the downloaded BNP file onto the window here. And it'll give you a little error saying, you know, the file's too big. So just click the plus instead and then browse to it manually and click install. You'll have a pop-up here that says Mifa's Grace has customization options. So the thing about this is we don't really have, like, actual Mifa voice acting, so we either have her be completely silent or we use Linkle, which, in my opinion, doesn't really, like... But yeah, I don't think it sounds a whole lot like Mifa, but it's okay. It's, it's just some way to have player voice acting in the meantime. So yeah, once it's done, click OK. Okay, so now if you go into Simu and go to Options, Graphics Packs, you should see under Breath of the Wild there is a Mods BCML option. 
that is basically our Mifa mod, as well as whatever other mods you add to here to try to merge. If you want to try and customize it even more, you can go to GameBanana.com and find other mods for the game. But yeah, I'm just going to launch the game for now and show you the differences so far. So, if you don't have any save data, of course it's going to do like the opening cutscene, but otherwise you should see this tricked out title screen. Alright, so I'm now playing as Mifa, but as you can see there's some performance weirdness going on. The reason the performance is so bad is it's compiling shaders every time I do anything, and that can make it kind of a little bit unplayable. So what I recommend for that is going to this website and searching for Breath of the Wild. So it's already collected all of the shaders in the game, and you can pretty much just copy this, and then go to your Simu folder and paste it. It's going to take a little bit because it has to compile all those shaders, especially the very first time you do it. It's going to be worth it though when you're actually in-game and you're playing it, so while it's doing this, just one more tip to um, enhance your experience while you're playing this, and that is to download the latest community graphics packs. Um, looks like I can't do it while it's doing this. Go to Options, Graphics Packs, and download the latest community graphics packs. So, if any of these appeal to you, you can like increase weapon durability. You can spawn the motorcycle anywhere. So yeah, there's some nice stuff in here. Infinite motorcycle. Yeah, why not? Um, so something I definitely recommend is FPS++. This just makes the game run at 60 FPS and apparently um, improves some performance issues. Just to make it less hazy while you're playing the game, you can remove distant fog. You can increase draw distance. And down here you've got enhancements. These basically change the post-processing effects so that the game looks a bit more clear, or kind of changes how it's colored. And then under graphics, I like to bump the resolution up to 1920 by 1080 just to have it be full HD. Pretty satisfied with that, so let's go. Um, one more thing I'll talk about while this is happening is maybe you want to play this on an actual Wii U. Maybe your computer isn't that strong to emulate or you'd just rather use the console. You can actually use SD Caffeine to do that, which is some homebrew you put on your SD card. And, and it looks like you would want to structure the mod kind of like this. So I'll demonstrate how that looks. So if we go into our BCML graphics pack, you'll see we have an AOC and a content folder. So let's just imagine that this SD folder that I just made is like your SD card because I don't actually have one to demonstrate with right now, but... So on there you would have a Wii U folder. Inside that we would have SD Caffeine and the title ID of the game, which... I actually saw the title ID on this website that we were just looking at. So you can just copy and paste that from there. So yeah, for Breath of the Wild USA, the title ID would be... This. And then inside there would be the name of the mod pack, so you might say Mifa. And then we have uh, the content and the AOC folders that you just saw. So then we can just pretty much throw our um, AOC and content folders from the Simu mod pack into there. And yeah, there you have it. This Wii U folder would just go right onto your SD card. And it's been like 10 years since I've done this stuff on the actual console, so maybe... Uh, I guess you can use this website to kind of get up to speed. Oh my gosh, yeah, there's a lot to still learn. Because back when I did this, we were still using uh, Haxchi, which it's now saying that you should uninstall and then use Aroma, so... Yeah, that's a whole different rabbit hole, honestly. Um, <laughs> if anyone really wants me to like demonstrate how to do all this, I, I guess I can in a different video. Just let me know in the comments if that would be useful for you. But I'm sure you can probably find something else on YouTube about that. Anyway, I guess that just about covers everything, so... Hopefully you enjoy playing the mod, and I hope this video helps, of course, with setting it up. If you have any questions, feel free to let us know, and thanks for watching.